Okay, welcome back. We're uh, now going to just do the barrel. So I'm going to come into this view, perspective view, select face, click the face here, go to edit mesh, extrude. I'm going to scale it in here. Then I'm going to do another extrude, or you can press G. That keeps, that reactivates the last tool you used. So I'm going to press G, and then I can scale back in on myself. It gives me a nice barrel which is good. Oh, by the way, you can go through your image planes. Um, right, now I'm going to extract the trigger area. So I'm going to select these, extract, extrude, um, and go to edit mesh, extrude. I'm going to pull them out. Now I'm going to come into the side view and just check them all. Now you could rotate here, but you can sometimes get funny effects. So I'm just going to we're nearly there, just going to vertexes anyway. I'm going to select all these and I'm going to flatten them up again by using the scale tool. So there we go. And just move these into alignment here. Take this one, move it down. In fact, I'm going to check it across here and scale all these so it's flat. And that is it. Um, it's already the right width, the trigger finger, because we matched it up with the front view when we took our vertices. So let's have a look at it now. There we go. Does what we want it to do. Okay, now create a new layer called Gun. So you know how to do that. You just click on here, type in, double click on it, type in Gun there and then select this object as object mode go over the layer right hand click and selected okay so I'm going to delete this because I've got the gun already it's slightly different because I gave it 12 instead of 16 so it's a bit bit, bit more bumpy than, than the one that you've done you might have used more or less it's up to you um, by the way to delete one of these layers you can right hand click go down delete layer so now I've got my gun on one layer and I've got templates. You can turn the templates off for now. And just save this as gun underscore final. It's very, very important. I out of um, I just wouldn't use spaces between your file names. If you're gonna space it, give it an underscore and always use lowercase as well. For reasons we'll talk about later. It's just good practice. Uh, right okay so that's done we're ready now we can actually delete the template because we don't need that anymore so right hand click the layer and delete they'll appear there because they appear straight in the thing but you can just delete those out now I want you to go into Windows and into Hypershade now I want you to select over all of these and just delete them hit the delete key that'll get rid of all of the shaders so you're creating a nice clean model we'll look at that in wireframe and make sure everything's clean which it is which is nice and this is setting it up for texturing now and um, also I want to get rid of my history which we can do we'll actually do that in a minute it doesn't matter at the moment but um, that's what we should be looking for nice clean mesh just put it into smooth shade and now we're going to start to actually lay the UVs out for this and we'll do that in the next lesson so you should have a nice clean file now gum final just save that out and in the next lesson we'll start laying out the UVs and before that we'll get rid of the history as well and I might start telling you how to lay out these shells which make it a lot 
a lot more handy for things that you use all, all the time. This one's a game shelf, so I use it for um, for games modelling because they're tools that I use a lot in that. Okay, see you in the next lesson for laying out the UVs.